This is Preddy, School Librarian, here today to share a book I just read, How to Disappear by Sharon Huss wrote. The author dedicated this book for anyone who has ever felt left out or overlooked or not good enough. And who hasn't felt that way at least once, right? In this story, Vicki is a sophomore in high school who is so painfully shy, it's called social anxiety, and Jenny, her best friend, moved over the summer, so now she is completely alone in a crowded school full of people. We all have flaws, things that we don't like about ourselves, things we want to change. Vicky's is really tough though. She is so painfully shy, it keeps her from living. She's even afraid to make friends. She's terrified of anything that draws attention to her. She even has a list of everyday things that for her are huge fears. What she doesn't realize about herself is that she is terribly observant. I mean, she sees people. She really sees people and the pain we feel when we seem to be invisible and how much we want to fit in and have some real friends. Vicki doesn't mean to, it just seems to happen. Really good at Photoshop and editing photos. So you know how your teachers and your school librarian warn you about being careful about what you believe because somebody could have altered the image you're looking at on social media or on the news? Well, Vicki starts to alter pictures and put herself in them to make it look like she has things going on in her life. It seems much better to her than reality, which is nothing. In real life, she is Vicki, but online, she gets more and more followers as vicarious. She feels the false sense of happiness and value social media likes give us. Her online personality a vicarious is fabulous and daring and full of life and it's hard not to become addicted to the Instagram likes. As Vicki said, how stupid is it that I care if the internet likes my photo? But as she says, as vicarious, she feels invincible. But as Vicki, she feels invisible. Even though this book covers some serious issues and even includes mental health resources at the end, it also was written with some really snappy humor that would startle an out loud laugh out of me as I read. And that is How to Disappear by Sharon Huss wrote.